since we have Skid, Skid hey, also flew. Skid hey, also flew, yeah, yeah. Skid Wait. also flew the, uh, yeah. the original stealth fighter. Once a sheep, always a sheep. F one seventeen. So not only was Skid yeah. uh, an A ten savage, he was also the first of the invisible. Stealth. Stealth <laughs> That's hey, right. Good times. So we, that's cool. And we, so was it last week, Mover? Two weeks ago, we talked about the F-16 Heritage paint job they did from 50 years That's ago. Nice. That's nice. Yeah, which that was is a couple super, weeks ago. Yeah, so they did another one here, the 8th Fighter Squadron. Yep. Not, they now fly F-16s. Black sheep. Yep. The black sheep. Um, they painted uh, one of their F-16s to resemble... There's my plaque <laughs> right there. Yeah, to resemble the uh, F-117. So they flew that thing from, uh, what, 90, 92 out there to 06. Like Skid yeah. said, black sheep. There's not a whole lot with the article other than the fact that they did a really nice oh, paint job. Oh, so that's nice. Honoring the, uh, ah, yeah, it was the tail. Cool. And while I was kind of like looking, I was like, man, we got Skid. We got to get him talking about uh, this. The, the uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, and, that's uh, me. That's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mask mask on visor down. That's definitely you. Classified. <laughs> no, Skid. So, so hey, did you you flew him out of Holloman? Yeah. Uh, yep. uh, yes. What time period? Uh, Bandit four four eight at your service uh, ninety four to ninety seven. It was after the airplane was moved from Tonopah to Holloman mm -hmm. Air Force Base to bring it into more normal operations. So we flew uh, a more normalized schedule than the Tonopah guys. Where they everything they did at Tonopah was all double black secret dark, yeah. you know, it, it, where are the satellites at kind of thing. And at Holloman, we flew them day and night, so that was kind of nice. You could sleep in, go into your, you know, a two, like you have like a, like a one o'clock brief for the PM go or afternoon go, and then uh, like an early go, like at around seven or eight at night. So it was pretty nice. It was nice. Yeah. So did you? <clears throat> so the did the. the <laughs> The uh, the guys that trained you were they yeah. from the secret squirrely? Oh, everyone moved from Tonopah down there to uh, Holloman, and we had three squadrons: the seventh, eighth, and ninth. Seventh was a training squadron, the Bunyaps, mm -hmm. um, and then the eighth and ninth were the operational squadrons, the eighth, the, the black sheep, and the ninth was the flying slash iron knight. They changed the call sign, uh, the ninth fighter squadron. So uh, once you went through the RQ and got your little ticket. Um, and then you went to the eighth or ninth for your operational squadron. Then you got your MR check uh, after you know X amount of sorties, and uh, then you're full of round. It's pretty nice. And in that community, it was mostly solo ops, wasn't it? <clears throat> Everything. I mean, your first ride in the F one seventeen is solo. Is your your solo? No, it's I mean, like, but like, <laughs> but like you know, like operational. Oh, you talking about mission? And, well, yeah, yeah, we, you're, yeah. Your mission. Your your uh, a single. Your yeah. Your your mission to go kill whatever target you got. You got two two GBUs on board and. You're gonna go hit a target, you know, the baby milk factory or the AT T <laughs> building or you know, uh, whatever. So yeah, you 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 studied your photo pack for the night and you I got these targets I'm gonna hit, you know, practice hitting, and you you take off, you know, you did a fighter stream, you know, so you briefed as a mass group, and then everyone flew the same route that night. You know, you kind of followed a trail of each other. But yeah. yeah, you're out there just you're out there practicing your targets, finding the the targets you wanted to hit and uh pretty is really neat a really neat system so you you came straight from the a10 to the f117 no i had a stop in the t37 oh the tweety three bird years three years in the tweet baby but you went a10 <laughs> tweet tweet f117 <laughs> now i'm curious man i mean yeah. uh so you that's 117 at least in the public eye was still relatively new when you went to it so like oh yeah uh, it was still had 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 uh the the aura around it with all the you know ace cool and all that kind of stuff there the frisbee and yeah. uh so a buddy of mine got me in the program i went out there uh tdy and he put me in the back of a 30 one of our 38s that we had at, at tindall and i chased the 117 i'm like that's that's the f-117 stealth fighter and that's what got <laughs> that's what got me sold on it i said i'll do that and, Did you guys and, use 38s for currency? Yep. 38s were your chase ship for your uh, check rides and uh, the like there. And then afterwards, you just every, you did everything with your CFE with your videotape pretty much. But yeah, the 38s used in, in, in the TR mode to chase your patterns and approaches and stuff like that. So uh, all of our Tyndall jets, that's what they were. Those were that's stealth jets. That's rad, man. I yeah, mean, and cool. it, coming from the A-10. Yep. 
How, was it an easy transition for you? I mean, it's a jet. It goes fast or fa a lot faster because <laughs> the wing sweep. The F-117 has got a 70-degree wing sweep, 70 degrees. You oh. can't see your wings. You're like, you look out of those bay windows, you can't see your wings. Yeah. Um, and if you go, you cannot go slow. If you go below, I think the, the public speed was like 150 or something, you'll go out of control. Out of, you'll go out of control if you get too slow. And so the airplane is dynamic and stable, so it'll do this on you. So you don't you landed, you know, we did the approach like a 175, oh. la la la, 170, touching on 160, something 165. You had a little bit pad there, and then you had the bat shoot. Dang, so, that's faster than the 38. Oh, yeah. And you could outrun the 38 above 10K. So your IP is chasing you, and then I'll get a full of power. Man. What, Gonky, what motors does the F 117 have on it? I think it has Hornet motors, non afterburning, right? Thank you. F 404s. <laughs> 404s. Yeah. yeah. Non afterburning. 404. Right? So non AV. 404. That's right. F, F 404 motors. F 404. And the Rhino has 414. That's right. God. Oh, it's all coming back now, man. You're not a real fighter pilot, Gonky. You didn't fly. <laughs> but I read. I read a lot. <laughs> but just a cool He's jet, dead. really neat airplane. Uh, it's off the shelf technology. F-15 hydraulics and and uh, F Viper flight control system, Flickus, whatever. La la la. Uh, wow. Buff INS. So I list for I had and uh, yeah, F-18 motors. So it's really cool. Yeah. Well, you know, I. I read this article and then i as i was looking at more stealth fighter stuff i thought yeah. it was kind of crazy because they were retired in 08 06 something like that but retired right they but they want to qual it with the c uh the kc46 yeah. like it's uh, on the list to get qualled as uh oh, so okay. like you said it retired <laughs> but you know they've been flying against it at savannah right you've seen them at savannah right savannah uh, exercise they've been bringing them out and flying a few of them against for against fifth gen you know because it's a good lo asset it's hard to find hard to see yeah yeah so, it's playing a big cruise it's playing a big cruise missile now